Hey, it's Clay Trader, and the market just opened, so I'm going to try to catch some live trades here. I will uh, keep you posted on anything that I uh, try to trade. Going for some shares here at 61.20 uh, on Facebook. See if it can get up there or not. Seems to be struggling with the 14. There's 15. All right, I will pause it and I'll get the video rolling again if it looks like I'm going to get filled. Well, I tried to pick up some down here at 6060 and it went down. You can see there as low as uh, 6064. So four cents off there, and now you can see there's the bounce I was looking for. So just going to cancel that and uh, look for some sort of new entry here. Going for some shares here of uh, Best Buy at 2710. I got 599. So I'm just going to look to cover these down around, I'll put in 27.01, see if I can get a cover there. And I'm out for $53.91. Like I said, only got 599 out of my 1,000. Uh, so I'll see if I can uh, get some more sh trades here. Okay, I'm in at, wow, that was a really fast fill, in at 27.15. So look to cover at 27.10. You can see getting pretty volatile. Uh, that's what I like to see though. If we bring over the five minute, you can see five minute is just very, very overextended. And just, whoops, well, I got filled there on mine, but that that's uh, you know where the logic is coming. Super overextended. So like I said, I'm, I got filled at 27.10 or there. Let's see if I can Catch some more here. 735. So I will uh, be back if I find another area that I want to try to put an order in at to short. Have an order in a short at 2725. Looking to be getting a little toppy up here. Uh, you know, I got the kind of not quite a hanging man, but somewhat close to it uh, so like I said getting not the best candles forming up here at the top that you want to see from a longs perspective now from a from a short that's a little different story looking like I well not looking like I definitely could have gotten a better entry now as you can see up here so if I need to, to build a bigger position I will so let's see what happens here I'm going to go for some more at 27.45. It looks like I missed out on those. Try again, see if I can get filled up there. Okay, I'm in, so now my average is 27.35. I'm going to try for some at 49. I'm in there, so now my average is 27.40. So if 40 falls to the downside, then I will be, uh, that'll be nice for me because my average, as you can see right here, is 27.396. So I'm out at 36. There we go. And then out at 30. So that's what I needed there. Like I said, had an average of 39 or 27.39. Then I covered 1,000 at 36, 35 and then 30. Uh, so let's see if I can catch some more trades here. Going for some at 27.45. If we can get up there, like I said, still feeling pretty toppy here, especially if you look over at the, or 
you can't look over on the five minute, but the five minute chart, definitely looking uh, toppy. So let's see if it can get up to 45 again. Well, I will pause it and uh, I'll be back if it looks like I'm going to get filled. Well, to be honest, I have no idea what happened. All of a sudden, I'm long at 2720. Uh, I think I accidentally pressed a button or something, but uh, yeah, apparently I made some sort of uh, boneheaded uh, button press here. I'm, I'm okay with it because it's happened down here in this pullback area, so it's not like it's a terrible entry or anything. But uh, yeah, to be honest, I'm not sure how I ended up with this. Uh, I think I accidentally hit a button when I was adjusting down here. Or I don't know, but we'll see how this turns out. So in long at 27.20, just looking to sell at 27.24 to, uh, you know, and I probably should just move that up some so I can, because it's not like it was a, uh, so hopefully this doesn't get me in too much trouble. But, you know, it's pulling back some, which is fine, you know, right around this moving average. So, uh, you know, at this point, I'm not too worried about it, but uh, we'll see what happens here. Well, it moved quickly up above 27.20, and I was just not fast enough to capture it. So uh, I will keep you updated here on this little kind of bizarre order. Well, I had to get a little creative with that one. I uh, actually just bought, uh, just traded it, and uh, it, it was it, everything happened pretty fast, so that's why I didn't want to try to record it. But I uh, just at, brought my average down to 27, uh, I think right around 27.02. Then I was at 4,000 shares. Then I was able to just sell at 27.06, 27.06. Uh, so turned out all right. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I like the volatility in this one. So let's see if I can catch some more trades here. Going for some shares here at 26.95 on the long side. Let's see if it can pull back there. Well, as you can see, the volatility is somewhat slowed down now, not jumping all over the place as a, like it once was. So because of that, I'm just going to hop out and uh, let's see if we can well right when I say that and there's 95 is getting hit 90 let's see what is that 92 is a level of uh, support there so if 92 falls should get a and it did fall there so let's see if I could possibly get a nice score here down at 70 if it can well not the breakdown I thought it it uh, kind of collapse a lot more than what it is right now but I guess here comes some of it so if it can drop down to 70 I'll gladly you know have a, a initial entry down there I'd be very happy with that I don't think it's gonna get down there but we'll see what happens and there it is back up to 2705 so I will keep you updated Going for some shares here short of uh, Twitter at 31.26. This is based off of the five minute chart actually, but we'll track it over here on the two minute. We'll see if it can push up there or not. All right, back below 20. So never mind. I'll uh, let you know if it looks like it's going to get back up there. Looking to go short here at 53.65 on DDD. Let's see if it can get up there. Actually, I'm gonna change this. I want 75, maybe that's not gonna be the best course of action, but I just feel better about trying to get a 75 entry here. So let's see if it can get up there and hit. And there I'm in, looking to cover at 53.70. And I'm out. So there we go, quick $50 there. And I'm glad I listened to my gut instincts on that one. Let's see if I can get some more. Going for some at 53.85. If I can get, if it can push up there. Close, but no cigar.
Let's see if it can get up there again. Let's see, we're at 10 minutes. So video is starting to get kind of long here. Try to let it run a little bit longer here. All right, I'm going to pause it. I'll keep you posted. I apologize, I did miss that one. Uh, everything happened uh, pretty quick, but that's kind of what happens on these volatile stocks when you have the spreads like they do. Uh, so, sorry about that. Let's see, that was 53, so I'm going to go up to right around the 54-ish area, see if I can try to get some shares there. So maybe I'll try to catch one more. We'll keep you posted. Well, looking for some shares here at 28.45. And I got 200 of them, so I'm just going to have to play with these. See if I can get covered down at 22. I wanted 1,000 of them, as you can see right there at 45. Only got uh, 200 of them. So you can see my order just sitting there at 22. Now it's disappeared. I'm just gonna cancel that. I got plenty of wiggle room here. So let's see if it can pull back some more. So now it's going back up. I probably should have just covered it, but it's 200 shares, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's see if I can get them at 33. Oh, don't even do this. So I got 55 out of my 200. So this is a fun one. So let's see if it can at least drop back down to 33 and get me out so but I don't know I shouldn't be complaining too much I knew what I was getting myself into on these uh, you know thinly tr thinly traded ones like this all right I'll pause it and I'll let you know the outcome of this and that finally filled for me so $24 on that one um, so I'm going to wrap things up. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and want to learn how to trade uh, specifically with tech, uh, technical analysis and candlestick charting, which is what you see over here in level two, is I offer courses on that. You can go to claytrader.com and just check out the course store. If uh, you also offer a, a trading group where you can hang out with me and other traders during the day, live chat room, weekly newsletter with scans, a bunch of good stuff, all very fairly priced. So go to claytrader.com, check that stuff out, and uh, you know give it a try. If anything, read some of the testimonials. So. Once again, thank you for listening. Hopefully you learned something.